Okay, guys, let me start with uh, with Eric LeBrand. He's been taken to Hackensack Medical Center. And uh, if I could just ask you, I know it's your job, but if we could respect his family and his privacy right now, um, it would mean a lot to me and to, to his family. As soon as it's appropriate, I will get word to you. I promise you'll get that through Jay, and, and we'll get that uh, We'll get that to you. Very good. Are you going over there? I am. Okay. I'm going there right now, actually. So if we could move through this, I can give you everything in a nutshell if you want, and then you can ask some questions. Um, they did some good things offensively. One thing, really, that was new, we knew they'd have something new for us. We've, we've done a great job over the years with wishbone teams. And we always seem to get something different. Um, we were able to kind of... I wouldn't say really fix it, but tweak it so we could kind of hold them in the second half. Offensively, I think our guys just got a little more comfortable, but we really struggled, obviously, protecting the passer. Um, at the end of the game, we fouled that thing up. I've made a lot of really good time management decisions over 10 years, really good ones that have won games for us. That one could have lost the game for us. That's my job to take control, and that was, a, that was a bonehead move by me. And those kids played their way into winning that game, and I'm proud of them. But that sucker's on me if we lose that game. So, like I said, I've done a lot of great ones that you guys probably don't realize, but this one wasn't one of them. Proud of our team, really proud of our team. I, uh... Craig, even before that, though, it seemed like you wanted to set up for the field goal. Is that why Chase sort of went in the middle? That would have been a long one, right, up into the wind, 40 Again, what was it? Yeah, it was it was not a very good thought process going on right there. Greg, can you talk about Chase uh, absorbing all those sacks, hanging in there, and putting the team in position to win? Yeah, we, we have to figure out, you know, whether it's who it is or what it is. Um, because it's right now it's at an epidemic proportion. We have to figure out a way to protect the passer. Now we may have to change what we do, but uh, we're going to get somebody hurt right there. I think he is one of the gutsiest kids hanging in there. Scrambling around the one big play, he moves around. I tell you what, it was uh, a lot of courage. Right, we've talked about back to back fourth quarters like he's had. I mean, A, talk about the way he's played down the stretch and brought this team back to win. And two, does this mean he stays, he has a job for the next week at least? I mean, I'm not going to talk about the job. I mean, but uh, he sure has done a very good job under pressure. You know, those are pressure packed situations. We'll deal with each week independently next week. But, uh, you know, I think I looked at it, and I, you know, we talked a great deal about what do we do in the second half offense. We had 60-something yards total offense at the end of the half, so we certainly were struggling. We had one drive of 16 plays, and the rest was nothing. So, um, but he really came on, and the whole the whole group of them did. They fought and they battled. It wasn't pretty at all, and uh, even the end wasn't pretty. But you know what? Sometimes on your maybe not your prettiest day, you find a way to get it done. Craig, can what you talk about the defense? 